Hi, Father Ian Van Heusen here. So, okay, this is going to sound a little egotistical. You might think Father Ian's proud, he's arrogant, he thinks very highly of himself. That's okay. I'm okay with you thinking about that, that about me. So I'm going to say this. I've been ordained five years. In that time, I've had some awesome successes. There's things that we've done, the art of living well, my friends, the people I work with, our youth events, our parishes, our assignments, where we have crushed it. That is, we have done beautiful, awesome things for the Lord. And one of the interesting dynamics is when you're crushing it, when things are going really well, it can actually be very hard to find people that you can open your heart about the great things God is doing in your life. This sounds crazy, but trust me, it can be really hard to share good news. Because what it takes is, it takes a mature disciple. When you're sharing your good news, sometimes somebody else, they might become self-conscious. They might become jealous. They might not have the emotional capital to walk with you in the midst of your successes. Because maybe they have bad self-esteem, whatever it might be. It takes a mature disciple to share good news and to receive good news. I want you to really reflect on that because you have people in your life that maybe want to share good news with you. Maybe you need to share good news with other people, but you have to find those people who, who they are and you have to invest in them. You have to have positive relationships because guess what? If you have all the problems in the world, if you're trying to complain about your boss, you know, I complain about my boss. I won't say which one, but I complain about my boss. If you're, if you're looking for somebody to complain with or you're looking for someone to analyze problems with, there's so many different people in your life who will, who will enjoy that for whatever reason. But there are very few people that you can share good news with. And of course, this is ultimately grounded in the bigger good news is our salvation in Jesus Christ. So we need to share what the Lord has done in our lives and how he has set us free and what he is continuously to do, continuously doing. So consider that today. Are you able to share good news? Do you have relationships where you can share good news? Amen.